the question is the most significant achievement of modern law in india is the constitutionalization of environmental problems by supreme court discuss this statement with the help of relevant cases in the answer to this question we have to cite some cases on environmental issues where supreme court decided the cases on the basis of articles of constitution we have to emphasize the increasing use of constitutional articles by supreme court in deciding environmental cases now let's see the answer supreme court has decided several cases on environmental issues in light of constitutional provisions supreme court has relied on articles of constitution in so many cases on environmental issues that almost every environmental issue can now be interpreted as a constitutional issue supreme court has particularly relied on article 21 article 48a article 51a and article 19 clause 6 in deciding environmental issues uh, first is the application of article 21 by supreme court in environmental cases article 21 of the constitution provides for fundamental right to life and personal liberty in its interpretation of this article supreme court brought right to clean and safe environment under umbrella of this article means under article 21 it means that clean air and safe environment is basic right of every citizen to live safely without any threat to their life now let's see some examples uh, in rural litigation and entitlement kendra dehradun versus state of uttar pradesh case supreme court ordered to close down the mining operations because the pollution caused due to mining was infringing the right to life and liberty as per article 21 to given to the citizens in mc mehta versus union of india case the matter was matter was that stone crushing activities in and around delhi were causing huge pollution in the environment in this case supreme court held that citizens have right to fresh air and have a pollution and right to pollution free environment in which they can live safely again this is the application of article 21 in uh, subhash kumar versus state of bihar case supreme court again held that right to life under article 21 also includes right to pollution free environment next is the application of article 19 clause 6 in environmental cases all the citizens of india have a fundamental right to carry on any profession business or trade at any place within the territory of india under article 19 clause 1 sub clause g of the constitution but this is not an absolute right and this right is subject to some restrictions under article 9 clause 6 which empowers the state to make laws to impose reasonable restrictions on this right in interest of general public Supreme Court has applied this article to close polluting industries which were a health hazard to general public. Now let's see some examples. In MC Mehta versus Union of India case, certain tanneries were discharging effluents in Holy River Ganga which was causing water pollution. In this case, Supreme Court ordered to close all the tanneries which were discharging waste without primary treatment. In this case the violators gave reference of article 19 clause 1 sub clause g that is right to work as per constitution and held that closing of tanneries will take away their only source of employment that is it will violate their right to work in this case a uh, court held that uh, though closing of uh, tanneries will cause unemployment but right to health life and clean environment are more important in this case pollution due to tanneries business was against the interest of general public it was threat to their right to life supreme court ordered to close down these units on the basis of article 19 clause 6 of the constitution next is the application of article 48a and 51a in environmental cases 
इन शेर सिंह वर्सेज हिमाचल हिमाचल प्रदेश केस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हेल्ड दैट द सिटीजन्स ऑफ द कंट्री हैव अ फंडामेंटल राइट टू अ होलसम क्लीन एंड डिसेंट एनवायरमेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू आर्टिकल फोर्टी एट ए ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्टेट इज अंडर अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल ऑब्लीगेशन टू प्रोटेक्ट एंड इम्प्रूव द एनवायरमेंट एंड टू सेफ गार्ड द फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ ऑफ द कंट्री सुप्रीम कोर्ट आल्सो गिव रेफरेंस ऑफ आर्टिकल फिफ्टी वन ए ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अकॉर्डिंग टू विच इट इज ड्यूटी ऑफ एवरी सिटीजन टू प्रोटेक्ट एंड इम्प्रूव द नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट इंक्लूडिंग द फॉरेस्ट लेक्स रिवर्स एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ इन टी एन गोदावर्मन वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया केस थ्री जज बेंच ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन आर्टिकल फोर्टी एट ए एंड आर्टिकल फिफ्टी वन ए टूगेदर एंड हेल्ड that the state and and the citizens are under a fundamental obligation to protect and improve the environment including forest lakes rivers and wildlife there are many other similar examples where supreme court gave more importance to constitutional provisions over statutory provisions in various air water environment and wildlife acts frequent use of constitutional provisions by supreme court in cases of environmental issues and problems have constitutionalized the environmental problems